Tapestries were woven in very specialized workshops. They decorated a room, but also served as a form of insulation in these very drafty buildings. They could easily be taken on and off the wall, moved around residences, which often explains their fragile and at times altered state. My name is Katrin Kohlborn. My name is Ki Suk -sa. We recently embarked on this major conservation campaign of the Heroes Tapestry series, one of the oldest in the Mets collection. The series was moved around and cut apart. Today, five of these original nine reside at the cloisters. Before the museum acquired the King Arthur Tapestry, his entourage of bishops, archbishops and cardinals had already been separated. It actually was incorporated in curtains that were hanging in a chateau, the Normandy. Between 1947 and 1949, the museum hired very skilled needlewomen to separate these curtains. There were lots of missing parts. They had to insert the original into modern material. The series was installed in the Cloisters Heroes room and has been hanging there ever since. We checked the condition of the tapestry and it was obvious it needs some support and intervention. One of the major decisions we had to make was how do we clean this tapestry? Wet cleaning this tapestry is an enormous undertaking. We work together very carefully in the wet lab facility, which we use for washing historic textiles. wash from the front and from the back. We use sponges to emerge the detergent into the weave structure to release any soiling. Our treatment is not only about conserving and treating tapestry for the look, it's so much about how to support it with other supporting stronger modern fabric. We have to make it strong enough to hold the stress during the display. Yanina Poskuroko, the head of the department, she invited Anya Zalaski and she has more than a few decades of experience working on tapestry conservation. Yanina actually trained Anya 20 something years ago and now Anya is training me. It's a tradition. It was a real privilege working on the tapestry so closely. We wanted to show the remaining original as much as possible. So we need to remove certain repairs. The new material that we are using has to match with the original. It was woven much earlier than the rest of the tapestries in the collection and the yarn quality is different. So we chose yarn from Finland and the look of it was perfect. We are lucky to have a really great resources the department has been building on. Uh, whenever they did die, they kept all the recipes to have a selection of yarns when they need it for the treatment. So we have hundreds of recipes we can refer to. 
I was fascinated with the way the weavers combined those different colors to render subtle shade effect. So there's no color change, but they make that shade effect by the weaving structure. I call it medieval pointillism. <laughs> To me, it was rewarding to work in a larger team with different skill sets and different years of experience. We complemented each other very nicely. King Arthur is the first of the series. So what we learned, we will apply and have a better, more efficient way to address the next panels.